Hey guys, I'm back on that uh, 88 Westy with uh, the leaking cylinder heads and I've had about uh, two hours or so, two or three hours to tear down the motor and uh, get the heads off of it and I figure I might as well talk about uh, what I took apart and we'll go look at it together. I just put the heads on the bench, haven't really looked at them. I uh, pretty much started with pulling the um, three uh, accessories off, the AC pump uh, got that off to the side. The power steering pump and the alternator took the three belts off and uh, whatever I could remove I just pulled to the side or just pretty much tied up out of the way. After that stuff was out of the way I grabbed the, f unbolted the fuel rails. Actually back up. The two intake manifolds. The plenum kind of stayed in place but uh, the, coming from here to the heads is the uh, intakes. I unbolted it from the head side with uh, two bolts and the intake just pretty much lifted up and came out. There was one bolt in the center of it for the uh, injector rail and uh, that held that center in. Just pulled that straight up and out of the way and did the same on the other side. Uh, same uh, as far as the fuel rail and the uh, intake manifold. So both of those kind of came up and out and from there uh, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I just kind of started pulling uh, a lot of the coolant hoses off and out of the way and uh, let it drain some fluid. There's uh, drains on the heads, but I didn't really bother with that. Then I kind of jumped to the bottom and let's go on. Uh, the new creeper. <laughs> okay. And on the bottom, it was uh, outside heat shields. This one's still hanging on, but to pull that down out of the way, same thing on the other side. And then just uh, uh, unbolted the exhaust off of it all the way around. And uh, that would get to be a little bit of a pain in the ass because on the heads they have, one side has studs, one side has bolts. Of course, the south bolts don't want to come out. So we actually ended up slicing this one right here. It's in the wide open. I'll patch the two of them back together afterwards. But that got that apart. And then we went to... Um, Unbolting the, the drop of the valve covers. Uh, unbolted the rocker shaft. Let's just see there. Pull the rockers out of it. Remove this coolant tube up from this side. And then just took all the uh, A head bolt studs out. So let's see what we get. Um, on this side, the jugs started to pull. You see how this one's sitting out further than the other one? They were still kind of stuck in the heads, but there's like tabs on them. See those tabs right in the middle? You can access them from when the head starts to pull away from the block a little. And I just got a big screwdriver in there with a, a smooth tip on it. And I just kept working them top and bottom till the jugs popped back off. That way I didn't lose the rings on the pistons. I still may have to pull them apart just to replace that bottom seal. I gotta look in there and see what happened. Back in there. And uh, so that's that one. And basically what we're looking for, as far as a failure on this, is blow-by. We're looking for where compression was getting out of the compression chamber and pushing into the cooling system. And if you look, um, you can see that this is the cooling jackets, just pretty much all, the only area on this block that is. It, the uh, cooling doesn't flow through the heads, I don't think. Um, I think it all just is just kind of kept down in these chambers. So, what happens is just has to get over this ridge. Once it's up over this ridge, then it's, it's into the coolant. And this is kind of the cylinder I was suspecting. And you can see it. You can see a dark spot. And I'm kind of thinking like, is that right there? I have a feeling that's where I was failing. Right around somewhere in that loop right there. Look, the rest of it looks like it's sealed pretty good. That one looks a little dark on the bottom too but I see shiny all the way around on that one with the other one I don't. The other side. All right. This side uh, stayed normal. It didn't pull back on me at all. Uh, the head just popped right off and uh, there's no issues. That one looks good. I don't know how it shows on camera. You can see like a dark, I don't know if you can see it, like you see where that dark color is right there. That's what I'm looking for to go all the way across. So 
This side kind of looks okay, and I had a feeling it was coming from the other side. If you look, see that little green O-ring? That's the other part that seals it, keeps the uh, coolant away from it. And that fits in the head. Blah. And this was a part once before. You see the groove that it fits in. Again, we're just looking for leaking. This is the head that came off the driver's side that uh, I suspect that uh, is failing. Right there, a little bit. Definitely, definitely this one right here. That, that's burnt like all the way through. So I think that's where the failure was happening. So this is, these are gaskets too, just they're actually head gaskets if any of these come out. You don't want to mar these with anything. There you go. It's okay on that side. The head looks good too. The surface. These are were replaced. I don't think there's that many miles on them, but they fail for um, the coolant causes corrosion. The, they'll pit the head and then it'll start leaking around it but that looks that looks okay I have a feeling it's right right there right, right there that's where I think our failure is so. this it looks a little better see the exhaust pipe still on it because those are bolts not freaking studs nuts on them. Looks alright. Yeah, I don't think this side was okay. I think, I think it was that one right there. It, it doesn't take much. You figure just to bubble into the cooling system. That yeah, looks fine. The head looks good too, which is nice. That's what I was worried about, the heads. I know they pit like up in here too. It's like something's already on here. But um, they'll pit in here. What they'll do is the the uh, big thick rubber gasket, it'll leak to the outside and just drip externally. Uh, here's the thick rubber gasket I'm talking about. So this makes a seal to the, you know, the, the coolant to the, um, to flow uh, past that. There's coolant all right, right around here, you know. It does flow up in the heads. Not much. All right, so I get to clean all this crap up and um, see if I need to order anything. I do have a gasket set already. Show you that. All right, what the hell is it? What did I do with it? Unbelievably. I got a my explosion of parts over here. There it is. It comes with pretty much anything and everything, you know. Even got there's the metal rings right there. There's the green uh, ones for the jugs, and uh, hopefully his push rod tube ones. Hopefully there's a couple of gaskets for like the water jackets that were taken apart. But I don't think so. So I'm gonna have to order something for there. Nah, I don't see anything. All right, well guys. Uh, that's it, and uh, I don't know, I'll make another one. I'm putting her back together. Here's the one of the exhaust pipes, one continuous one, and the other one's the same way. That I pretty much just I just cut it right in the middle so I can get it off. Hey, right, I'm done. Take care. Bye, guys.